we've seen the proximal ends of the optic nerves emerging from the optic chiasm. Here's the optic nerve passing forward beneath the dura to enter the optic canal, which starts here. Here's the optic canal in the dry skull. Here on each side of the optic chiasm are the divided internal carotid arteries. Just beneath the chiasm is the roof of the pituitary fossa. Here's the divided stalk of the pituitary gland. To follow the optic nerve, we'll remove the roof of the orbit, leaving the optic canal intact. We'll remove this nerve and the orbital fat and these two muscles, which we'll see later. Here's the optic nerve. It enters the orbit between the tendons of origin of the rectus muscles. It passes forwards and laterally to enter the back of the eyeball. Here, we've made a window in the dura surrounding the optic nerve. Here's the edge of the dura. Here's the nerve itself. Here's the arachnoid. The dura is continuous with the outer layer of the eyeball, the sclera. We'll be returning here shortly. For now, we'll put the contents of the orbit back in place. The optic chiasm is a crossover point for optic nerve fibers. The fibers of each nerve that connect to the medial half of the retina cross over into the opposite optic tract. The fibers that connect to the lateral halves of the retina stay on the same side.